I love this mic. I've been using it for like two days now. I love how simple it is. Like I can stay away from my camera and stuff like that. But the main reason was that I was supposed to make videos at the gym. To tell you guys this story, we need to go back to Wednesday. Very excited to see how this DJI mic is gonna work at the gym. And hopefully it's not gonna be a lot of people at the gym because then it's just gonna be, you know, it's awkward, man. Well, hopefully it's gonna be few people and it's gonna be good. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna upload this video. Um, we'll see how it goes. Someone wish me good luck. Good luck. Thanks. That good luck from somebody did not work because when I got to the gym, this happened. I was just about to start my workout and one staff member came to me and said, my boss said, you're not allowed to film. This was the first day that I was supposed to try my new DJI mic. I was so pumped. And the fun part is that I met the boss yesterday. She didn't say anything, but then she goes to and, and tell her, her staff to tell me that I'm not allowed to film. I came back home super annoyed that I didn't get the opportunity to to try out my new microphone and I'm so excited like I'm still excited to to make the gym videos for you guys and so I signed up for a new gym today actually or it's not new it's the gym that I used to train before this one it's further away from home but it's much much bigger so I went there and I was super excited I was like okay now we're gonna make this video and the gym was super packed so again it didn't happen and i guess i could have made a video anyway but i kind of you know i felt that it was awkward because it was a lot of people a little update on what's happening uh i switched gym for you guys who has been following along this was the gym i used to work out last year but i quit to the gym to was, that was closer to me uh, because it was closer to me but now because i can't film i came here and I was supposed to film the whole workout, but it was so many people here, so I was like, okay, I can't do it. Like, I chickened out. Uh, but now, it's getting less people. And I'm almost done with my workout. However, I'm gonna start to come here early mornings, uh, when hopefully there won't be a lot of people. And then I can do my thing and show you guys. So I'm just gonna finish up. I'm used to just having the camera and then just do my thing and then put my camera down, film me and then do my thing. But now I'm, I'm supposed to talk to you guys and that's when it starts to get a bit like awkward. But I'm gonna work on it because I need to, I need to do it. There's no other way. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna go to gym and I'm gonna hit chest, shoulders and triceps and I'm gonna bring you guys with me. So uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I just realized I was warming up my rotator cuff muscles and you could see my kippan the whole time, which is not that good. Not here in Sweden, you are allowed to wear the kippan, but you know, not like this. So yeah, I started up with rotator cuff muscles. I'm gonna do chest, shoulders, and triceps. A lot of people forget the rotator cuff muscles. They just warm up, like swing their arms back and forth and, and do a quick warm up, but they forget about supraspinatus, infraspinatus, subscapularis. That's like three muscles that you need to warm up. They get used whenever you use your arms and shoulders back and forth like this, they, they get used and they need to be strong too. So I did two sets of 12 reps of internal and then external. And now I'm gonna move on to bench press. I haven't benched in such a long time, but today it's time. I actually enjoy dumbbell press more than bench press but there's no people here so i'm like let's just go with bench press yeah i'm just gonna warm up do a few reps with the bar every week i change the number of reps this week i'm gonna start with eight reps and i know it's saturday so i don't go i don't go as i don't count like from monday to to sunday i i just have a like a I have a training plan and I go after that one. So my new week starts today, actually. I like eight reps, I like it when it's a bit heavier. I always seem to train better when it's a bit heavier. Something that I'm gonna change is that this one is a bit too high. 
So eight reps, I'm gonna do 80, which should be easy. I would be very happy if I could do 100 kilos. <clears throat> I would be satisfied with that. Let's see how heavy this is. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. Four reps was pretty easy, it felt good. So I'm gonna go for 100 kilos. Let's go. As I said, haven't done bench press in a very long time. I like dumbbell press more because then I can bring my elbows closer to my body and I feel so much better than having it like, you know, wide. I feel like it's easier to get contact with your pecs, which is, uh, which is what you want. But you should switch things up. I've been doing dumbbell press for very long. It's time to try out this one, see if I still got it. Eight reps. I'm not gonna do heavier, okay? That's normal on car to be like, Charlie. That's what I'm talking Ah, shit, that was heavy. heavier than I thought it would be. So I don't really count how much I rest, but usually it's like from one minute to 90 seconds. And I, I always try to rest until I feel like I'm, my breath is back, like, you know, my, I can relax again. That's when I know it's time to go again. <sighs> Last time. Now, that's a sign that I won't do, I won't be able to do another set. Three sets, I'm happy with that. I decided to try 95, because if I had a spotter, I would do my last one at 100 kilos too, because it was only at the last rep at 100 kilos that I, I really struggled. So 95 should be good. <sighs> oh. Okay, just like I predicted, I'm happy. Okay, so I'm moving on to one of my favorite exercises for chest, which is the incline dumbbell fly. And I love it because I think it's such a good chest builder and should be in everyone's programming. I could probably go a few kilos heavier. This was 20. Second set with 24. And the reason why I do incline is because I want to focus more on my upper chest. And so you, I think bench press will be the only exercise that I do that's focused on the whole chest. Normally I do just one main exercise and then two, like, two exercises that I enjoy for chest because I feel like like I told you in like previous videos that I feel like I already had a, have a good chest. So I don't want to work more on that. I just want to keep what I have. All right, let's do two more and move on. Moving on to chest flies on the cable. And I'm going to superset this with lateral raise for shoulders. As I told you before, I only do three chest exercises. Uh, and now I'm almost done. So I'm gonna superset with shoulders. And so the workout will be quicker, better pump, better burn calories, everything's better. And the lateral raise is great to build width to your body because you focus on the lateral side of your shoulder basically. But a lot of people do them wrong. What they do is they lift too much with their hands. So the lateral raise look like this. Okay, but what you want is to lift it with your shoulders. And if that's hard to think about, what you can think of that, you're gonna lift it with your elbows because that will make you internally rotate your shoulders and then you will go up. So one thing 
up with your elbows. And second one, also aim with your pinky, like to the sides, just like that. And then you will have a good workout for your shoulders and not anything else. Oh, I can feel it. Now we're moving on. Another superset, this time with incline dumbbell skull crushes. One of my favorite triceps exercise, superset with seated lateral raise. Almost the same thing as standing, but I have to be even more strict because I can't use any momentum. And now I'm really focusing just to get the full range of motion and isolate my shoulder. Second triceps exercise is not a superset. I'm just gonna do this triceps push down, one triceps exercise left, and then I'm done. So, okay, everyone, done with my workout. The last exercise that I did was the rope pull downs. It felt good, and now what I'm gonna do is uh, walk on the treadmill with a slight incline uh, for like 20 minutes. And then I think from, from next week or every week, I'm gonna increase with like five minutes. Uh, not gonna do more than 40 minutes cardio though, so somewhere in between. Um, I really hope that you guys like this video. I'm not really sure how it will come out, but hopefully it will be good, valuable, and I'm getting more and more comfortable talking to the camera. It's really like at home, it's not a problem. It's just you guys and me, but here it's like people walking around and you feel stupid. Uh, but I'm getting more and more comfortable and hopefully you guys gonna like it and, and find it valuable and, and we can have some fun in the gym too. Today was very serious. Normally I have a lot of fun, especially when I'm with my friends, we enjoy. This is just the first one, happy with that. And thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Time for cardio.